Picture this. You've met someone new. They're attractive, charming, and seem to be everything you've been looking for. But there's a lingering thought in your mind. Are you their rebound? It's crucial to understand this because being a rebound can significantly impact your emotional well-being and future relationships. It's not just about being someone's second choice. It's about the emotional turmoil that comes with it. If you're in this situation, you've come to the right place. We're going to discuss the seven signs that you might be in a rebound relationship. Sign number one, they can't stop talking about their ex. Now imagine this, you're on a lovely date, enjoying your favorite dish, when suddenly, out of nowhere, your partner starts another story about their ex. It's like they're a broken record, stuck on the same old tune. This isn't your favorite song, is it? When you're in a relationship, you want to feel unique, cherished for who you are, not constantly compared to someone from the past. If it seems like your partner's ex is the uninvited third wheel in your relationship, you may be in a rebound situation. But why does this happen? Well, it's simple. When someone jumps into a new relationship without fully processing their previous one, their ex often lingers in their thoughts and conversations. It's like they're trying to relive their past through you, or maybe they're using you as a sounding board to vent out their unresolved feelings. So if your partner's tales about their ex are more frequent than your discussions about the future, it's a red flag. It shows they are still tethered to their past relationship, not fully ready to embrace the present one. Remember, everyone has a past, and it's normal to talk about it occasionally. But when the past overshadows the present, it's time to pause and reflect. Are you a new chapter in their life, or just a repeat of the old one? If they're always bringing up their ex, it might be a sign that they're not quite ready to move on. Sign number two, your conversations lack depth. Now, isn't it great to have a good laugh and banter about the latest TV shows, the weather, or that cute dog video you saw online? Sure it is. But if your conversations with your partner never go beyond that, it could be a red flag. Why so? Well, think about it. Meaningful relationships are built on sharing personal experiences, dreams, fears, and hopes. It's about understanding each other on a deeper level. But in a rebound relationship, these deep, personal conversations are often missing. It's like the person is avoiding emotional intimacy, keeping things light and airy. This can indicate a lack of emotional investment, which is a typical sign of a rebound relationship. It's as though the person is using these surface-level conversations as a shield to keep you and the emotional baggage at bay. So if your conversations are always light and never delve into emotional territory, you might be dealing with a rebound. Sign number three, they avoid showing vulnerability. Emotional vulnerability is the heart of any deep and meaningful relationship. It's about opening up, letting your guard down, and sharing your innermost thoughts and feelings. It's about trust. But in a rebound relationship, this vulnerability is often absent. The person might be hesitant to reveal their emotions, maybe because they're still nursing a broken heart, or they're not yet ready to trust again. They might keep conversations light and avoid discussions that could lead to emotional intimacy. This absence of emotional vulnerability suggests they may not be ready for a serious relationship. It's like they've built a wall around their heart, not letting anyone in, not even you. And while it's completely understandable, especially if they've been hurt before, it does raise the question, are they genuinely into you or are they just using the relationship as a distraction from their past? If they're always guarded and never let their emotions show, it could be another sign of a rebound. Sign number four, they hesitate to commit. Now, this can be a tricky one to decipher because everyone moves at their own pace in a relationship. But if you notice a recurring theme of reluctance when it comes to making plans or setting future dates, it might be a sign that you're in a rebound relationship. Imagine the scene. You suggest a weekend getaway a month from now, perhaps a concert next season, or even a dinner reservation next week. And there's always an excuse, a hesitation, a we'll see, a let's play it by ear. These are all red flags that the person may not be as invested in the relationship as you are. In a healthy, balanced relationship, both parties are excited about spending time together, both in the present and looking towards the future. They're eager to make plans because they're confident in their feelings and the longevity of the relationship. Now, it's important to remember that everyone has their own timeline, and some people may naturally take longer to feel comfortable making commitments. But if this hesitation is coupled with the other signs we've discussed, it could be indicative of a rebound relationship. It's not about rushing things, but there should be a mutual enthusiasm in planning a future together, even if it's just deciding on a date for the next movie night. 
If they're always unsure about making plans or setting dates, it might be time to reassess the relationship. Sign number five, you haven't met their friends or family. Now, this might seem like a small thing, but it's actually a big red flag. Think about it. When we're serious about someone, we want to integrate them into every part of our lives. That includes introducing them to our closest friends and family. It's a way of saying, hey, this person is important to me. I want you to know them and like them too. But if your partner is reluctant to make those introductions, it could indicate that they're not viewing the relationship as long-term. Maybe they're avoiding those introductions because they don't want to answer the tough questions from their loved ones. Or perhaps they're just not ready to merge their old life with their new life with you. Either way, if they're keeping you a secret, it's not a good sign. It could mean they're not fully committed to the relationship, or even worse, they might see you as just a temporary distraction. So if you're feeling like you're in the shadows, it's time to have a serious conversation. If you're just a secret, it could be a sign that you're the rebound. Sign number six, the relationship is moving at lightning speed. You know, the kind where you meet, date, and practically move in together within a matter of weeks. If you're feeling like you're on a high-speed train with no stops in sight, you might be in a rebound relationship. Rebounders often rush into new relationships without taking the time to heal or reflect on their past relationships. They use the excitement of a new relationship to cover up the pain and heartache from the breakup. It's a form of escapism, a band-aid solution to avoid feeling the sting of their previous relationship's end. In these situations, it's not uncommon to see whirlwind romances. You might find yourselves planning vacations, talking about future goals, or even discussing moving in together way sooner than normal. While it might feel exciting and romantic at first, it's important to recognize this could be a red flag. Just like a house, a relationship needs a strong foundation. And building that foundation takes time. It's about getting to know each other, understanding one another's quirks, and learning how to navigate through conflicts together. If these stages are skipped and everything seems like a rush, it might be because the person is trying to distract themselves from their past. So next time you feel like your relationship is moving faster than a speeding bullet, take a step back. Reflect. Ask yourself, is this healthy? Are we building a solid foundation, or are we just rushing to fill a void? If everything seems to be happening too fast, it might be a sign that you're the rebound. Sign number seven, the relationship feels like an emotional roller coaster. The ebb and flow of feelings, the dizzying highs and the plummeting lows, the exhilarating rush followed by the sharp drop, all these are signs of an emotional roller coaster. And guess what? This could be a telltale sign of a rebound relationship. In a healthy, stable relationship, emotions flow smoothly. You feel secure, understood, and valued. But in a rebound relationship, emotions can be all over the place. One moment you're on cloud nine, feeling like you've hit the jackpot of love. The next you're falling into an abyss of uncertainty, questioning if you're good enough or if you're just a placeholder. It's like being on a roller coaster that never seems to end, with its unexpected twists and turns leaving you breathless and disoriented. This emotional instability is often due to unresolved issues from the past relationship, creating a turbulent tide of emotions that sweeps both partners along. If your relationship feels more like a roller coaster than a steady ride, it's time to pause and reflect. So there you have it, the seven signs that you might be in a rebound relationship. From the overemphasis on an ex to the reluctance in introducing you to friends and family, these signs are clear indicators to assess your relationship. Remember, it's not about rushing or avoiding, but about being aware and protecting your emotional well-being. Perhaps it's time to reflect, to understand where you stand and where your relationship is heading. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch the next video on the screen. Until then, take care of your hearts and minds.